Man, ganking can be very expensive, right? Wrong! Today I'm gonna show you an incredibly cheap set that can easily gank people that out IP you even by 200 IP. This is probably my go-to set for ganking when I wanna go cheap and still make a bank. It goes like this. It's Mage Cow with a second spell, second passive. Now because of the fact that you're using the second spell, you can use whatever cow you want. All of the cows have uh, this spell right there, regardless of tier, regardless of type, regardless of whatever. All of them have the same exact second spell. So you can use whatever you want to level up, let's say, or, or whatever you already have leveled up. Then you want to use Cleric Robe, third spell, first passive. You want to use Soldier Boots, third spell, first passive. You want to use the Cursed stack with the first Q, second W and first or third passive. I would recommend the first passive just so we keep this as low spec as possible even though you will want to have some spec to be able to actually get yourself to the point in which you have 1000 IP with tier 4.1. You want to have a torch for an offhand. Now if you want a little bit more resistance it's a good idea to bring a shield. That's what my brother Stalker is using. If you don't know Stalker I'm going to be linking his channel at the end. This build is very much inspired by him. Like I saw him use this build with shield and uh, honestly I just had to try it as well. I just had to try it as well. This is not entirely my original build. The only thing that I changed was the torch instead of a shield because I feel like the increase in resistance, even though it's nice and it would have saved me a bunch of times as you will see in this video, I still prefer the cooldown reduction and the versatility of uh, the torch, including the attack speed bonus. Pretty nice to have. It's pretty nice to have, especially with this passive right here. But just know that the original build that I've seen uh, Stalker use goes with the shield. Then you want to use a normal cape just to keep things cheap there's a lot of different things that you can change you could have tedford cape you could have matlock cape don't worry about that normal cape just normal cape greetings my fellow viewers fret not for i'm mogdan's trusty hat and i come bearing good news if you enjoy watching my master's content on youtube then you will be pleased to know that it's all recorded live on twitch by joining us on twitch you'll not only get a sneak peek of upcoming videos but also have the opportunity to win giveaways and drops and just hang out with a lively and amazing community so come on over and join us now we're most likely live at this very moment click the link in the description down below or in the pinned comment to join us. If you go very cheap with the build, I would suggest you don't cheap out on the food and bring 8.1 beef stew. It's just 20k. It does add up to the price of the build, but even with this thing uh, on the build itself, it's 76k. If you take out the food and you have a more expensive, a more cheap food, like a cheaper food, 56k. If you reduce the number of poisons, and by the way, yeah, another thing that you want to have are poisons. So let's say two poisons, because you're not going to be ganking like all day or uh, you're going to be banking in between ganks, the build can go down to 43k silver, chat. Just to put things into perspective, 43k silver, just insane. Like straight up is just, in I don't even know what to say. It's just insane. That's all I can say. Now, the build itself, it's very, very simple and uh, anybody can play. The Q is just an ability that you target on the enemy, like you have to have a target for this to do something and it does damage and it applies a Vile Curse Charge. The Vile Curse Charge is a dot debuff, a dot that deals damage um, every, like every second or something like that. Just deals damage continually over four seconds and it stacks up to four times. The W is a root, looks a little bit like this roots everybody inside it does not interrupt and it also applies a vile curse charge perfection now what's up with the vile curse charges well first of all they are dot damage meaning that you are basically just going to be able to stack those on your opponent and he's going to be taking continuous damage but besides that they are going to buff your e tremendously check this out the e deals damage depending on the amount of vile curse charges that the enemy has on it goes from 439 damage at 4.1 with this ip that i have right here so it goes from that all the way to 1494 granted this is before resistances your enemy resistances are also going to be counted when it comes to stuff like this like you're also going to have to take care of the enemy resistances like even with this you're still going to be able to deal at least 700 damage not to mention that you have some tools to boost this so that it actually deals 1400 one of those tools is actually your r this is the ability that comes from the jacket basically it has a a little bit of an animation this one right here and if you get attacked while that animation plays out in 1.5 seconds that's how much it takes for that animation to play out you become immune and you get a damage and healing buff by 20% more like 20% more damage that's pretty pretty big besides this as an extra damage increaser let's say you have your poison now this besides dealing damage straight up it also re it reduces resistances so 
by just timing your E with the R, buffing your damage and throwing a poison right before the E pops off, you are going to be able to deal a massive amount of damage. Your enemy might be problematic. Maybe they are a healer. Maybe they are a melee player. Maybe they, they're just annoying. Whatever they are, you want to annoy them with your D either by bopping them into mobs or bopping them away or interrupting certain spells. The D is just basically you bop them away and deal a very small amount of damage. Still, something pretty nice. It's a good idea to, to use this. Just be aware of that. It's not going to be the most useful spell, but I guess if you can bop your enemy into mobs so that they get rooted or take more damage, why not do it? You know what I mean? Why not do it? An alternative would be the Mage Cowl, even though with the current way the Mage Cow works, like the Mage Cow uh, straight up third ability, that's what I mean. Uh, with the way this ability works, you are actually gonna run the chance of pulling mobs. Because this right now, it's an AoE uh, a debuff. And you might actually be, um, like, you might actually ruin yourself with this by just pulling extra mobs. Because you cannot really control how far away it goes. I mean, if you're not paying attention to stuff like that, it might go on mobs and those mobs will come on you and will actually do the opposite of what you want this to do, which is disrupt your enemy it will actually disrupt you furthermore you have your f you can use this to chase and to get away it's a good idea to start using this in the middle of the fight just so you can kite because you're running 4.1 your enemies almost always are going to do more damage than you because besides the fact that you're running 4.1 you're also running 4.1 cloth so it's a great idea to have this mobility basically you want to keep this for the half of the fight at the half of the fight you want to put this on and just start cutting your enemy and start running away because in case there's people coming in you might have problems with those like be aware of the fact that you are an easy target or so everybody thinks so nobody's gonna shy away from fighting that means that everybody that passes through will just look at you and will see how much of an easy target you are and they're gonna most likely target you they're gonna most likely target you i guess yeah okay look this is actually a good uh, good moment to put this in, to put this into perspective and to show you how it works so the general idea behind the build this is how it goes. You, if you're fighting against a melee target, you want to keep the enemy at a distance. Don't worry if you mess something up. Just keep them at a distance. Just keep them at a distance. Stack up. Buff this. I kind of throw my, um, my poison too early. And just look at this chat. There's almost nothing they can do about it if they don't have a hard defense. Now, a hard defense would be Cleric Robe, Cleric Cowl, or Dodge Roll. Even without those, I want you to notice that I took like 75% of his HP just with Qs. Qs with a resistance reduction from the poison. That's how that's how it's gonna be. Most often than not, more often than not, that's how it's gonna be. Technically, I should have thrown the poison, as I've said, before the E pops. You don't really have to time it very well, like the poison the poison lasts for three seconds, but still it's a good idea to try to time it with the E as much as you can. If you don't do that, however, as you can see, you're still winning. This guy did have much lower IP. Like just for reference, this guy did have much lower IP. But you I'm gonna give you examples of the like, I mean you're gonna see the fights, and you guys on the Twitch chat already seen the fights in which I fought people much, with much, much higher item power than me. And uh, yeah, that's about everything you need to know about the build. Now it's just up to you to go and practice. Try it out. I want to show people that you can easily gank with cheap sets. And for that purpose, I'm going to be using a 4.1 curse staff set. I'm going to be ganking in the black zone and just see how much money we can make with this. I'm going to start banking everything in a separate tab right here. Okay, boys, this is the initial cost. Let me bank everything, including my, my mount. Okay, boys, okay, boys, okay, boys. So check this out. This is the initial investment. 300, uh, 386k silver for five sets. Let's see if we can make a profit. Jen. Let's see if we can make a profit. Yoink. Yoink chat. Hmm, let's try it out. Let's try it out. Cancelled his E. He dead, boys. He dead, boys. Let's go, boys. Nice! He's getting dismounted. Pop! 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 
you little noob. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. 150. Oh, I was hoping for more, but still. But still. Man, the Guardian helmet. If I had seen the Guardian helmet, I wouldn't have fought. No. What? Nah, he caught me, but he died as well. He died as well. Let's go there. Let's go back there. Let's go back there. Let's go. It's all here. It's all here. It's all here, chat. It's all here. It's all here. All is here, chat. All is here. Look at this. <laughs> oh, man. The luck. The luck, chat. It's all here. Nice. Boom, pop, pop, let's go, 230k. <laughs> uh, not the smartest of ideas for me. I want this guy. I want this guy. I want this guy. Good choice. This guy. Oh, he's downed. He's downed by mobs. <laughs> get wrecked. Massive get wrecked. Oh, rest in pepperonis, my dude. Don't tell me that I'm going to get... Come on, boys. Can I use speech 100? Do I have speech 100? <laughs> this guy is checking me out a little bit. Come on, come on. I'm getting low. Oh, no. The mob. Such strong mob. Okay, he's coming. He's coming. He's coming. Oh, he has a friend. He has a friend. That's problematic. That is actually a problem. That is actually a big, big problem. No, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead! No, run! Ah, will that guy die? Nah. Shadow Legend, boys, they got me. They got me, boys. The fifth set is officially, officially lost. I did not play as safe as I should have played with it. But, boys, I just want to show you something. I just want to show you something. So, my little stupid test that I've done over here. The reason I wanted to do this is to show people that you don't need expensive sets to gain. Now, of course, an expensive set is going to help you. An expensive set is going to be much easier to 1vx with. An expensive set is going to make it much easier for you to PvE with. That you don't die in a solo dungeon even though you're in combat with nobody because everybody you were in combat with was either knocked or dead. Thank you, SBI. An expensive set is going to help you tremendous. But even with a 4.1 set, you can still make 700k silver, chat. Look at this. 700k silver. Out of this, I've spent like 300k, 300k for my build. And again, I could have played safe. I shouldn't have taken 1vx fights. I shouldn't have competed for chests. But in, at the end of the day, it's a 4.1 set. Just go have fun with it. Just go have fun with it, chat. This is probably the best way to practice ganking or open world PvP. Just bring yourself a cheap set. I strongly suggest the set that I've used. Boys, 700k with a literally a bunch of... 4.1 sets granted i do have spec but this just goes to show that you don't need to spend a lot to be able to gank the priority should be to get yourself the spec that you need and to get yourself the spec that you need i have plenty of videos that show you exactly what you need to do watch us play live on twitch.tv slash mockdown this video was made possible by our amazing channel members if you want to support by becoming a channel member yourself you are going to get access to amazing emotes that you can use in the comment section or during live streams member only polls and lots of other awesome perks shout out to all of you awesome badasses thank you so much for supporting us